great morning, everyone. Get up, get out, get into it. I'm going someplace I've never been today. I'm heading up to the Kensico Dam. Uh, so far, I'm um, about maybe 15 minutes or less. I don't know because I didn't look at the map yet. I'm not that far from it pretty much right now. Um, I'm in a place that I've never been on the Bronx Park Greenway. So, um... This is my exploration. What is it called? Staycation exploration. Um, I'm just finding places to go. So you know how I do pictures, maps, and all that. I will say that this is engulfed in nature at this point. Um, I'm following Google Maps. And it's taking me on this trail and it's very n natural I'm loving it I'm just not sure where I'm going but it's definitely an adventure to say the least uh, beautiful sight so far Fucking ways this camera wants to act up and I want to flip it. This will not be a flip video. I'm not going to even keep doing that no more. But yeah, this is um Bronx River Trail. I think I'm up in, I don't know where I'm at right now, but I'm at least an hour and a little bit more away from my neighborhood. And it's stuff like this. This is why this is very interesting. Look at this right here, what I have to cross. I saw somebody on a video. <laughs> Different, huh? <laughs> it's a very low clearance here. I passed another one as well. I had to get off the bike. Basically, I can ride with my head tilted to the side. underneath these little low bridges so when the water rises rises I'm sure it rises above the concrete on the ground but yeah these are um interesting little trails up here I used to work up here but not this far I used to work up in Yonkers so I'm like way past where I used to even go to but I like um I don't know what it's called some type of mushroom a wild mushroom that everybody talks about. I just have to pick it up. I don't know what that one's called, but it's a wild mushroom. It's a big one too. I don't do mushrooms. Thank you. <laughs> Let me actually. This camera acts funny when it wants to. All right. So, I'm on exploration. Well, I made it to my destination. And it's as dry as a bone. This is called the Kensico Dam. And this is supposed to be water in here. It's supposed to be water in there. It looks like there was... I don't think so. Water coming down the wall, but I know there's water supposed to be in here. But you know, we got droughts all over America, so that's why we have no water in here. So um I one battery down. I made it on one battery. Um basically I was eight minutes away. I've made a stop at uh a store. They look friendly, the, the ladies that was in the store. So I asked them if I can uh, leave my battery. I got a bug on my leg. If I could leave my battery and charge it and I'll be up here. And they said, sure, no problem, whatever. So um, I'm recharging. So I'll probably stay here for maybe an hour or a little bit longer because I just need, um, I really need three hours on that battery. But I just need a little bit because this battery will definitely get me home. And then that battery will 
get me to the door. But uh, this is it, the Kensico Dam. Nothing's out here, and I already knew it was nothing out here. But I just wanted to come and get something different. Ain't no water fountains. How you got a dam with no water? Yeah, and I was like, oh, that's cute. I was like, you can just like go. Oddest thing. So I'm at the dam, and there's no water fountains up here. <laughs> I've been looking around and I don't see like a water fountain. There's no water running in the um, pools that's supposed to hold the water. Uh, they got outhouses. They don't have a bathroom bathroom. Like you would think that a dam would have running water facilities. Um, and even electric, electrical. I don't even see like a little building with shed like you can plug in a light or nothing. There's light here. But there's no power, like, you know, it's odd. But I made it to, what is it called? I forgot the name of where I'm at. Because <laughs> I got something else in my brain, another destination. But I'm up in um, White Plains, New York. And it's a, about a two-hour ride, bike ride from my house. Um, I would definitely say one battery, but, I I didn't know where I was going, so I did get lost a few times and had to turn back around, and some places I was, like, going up fast, so basically if I was to know where I was going and go at a regular pace, then I probably could make it on one battery, but, um, I'm here, and I guess I'm only gonna stay here for another hour. And then head back. So uh, that's it. Continue for two miles.
shit, look at this bridge coming up. record all these low bridges low clearance they have to duck to get under them there's like three of them and this is the okay one there's another one I'm going to take a rest here on this bench and listen to the waterfall. And I actually got a perfect view. Somebody coming. I decided to take a stop by the waterfall and take it all in. baby over there I wish they had power stations in the park where you can sit on a bench and plug your stuff up solar power or something but um yeah I'm having a good like I said I this was planned yesterday or the day before yesterday I saw somebody's video of making this trip and I said, oh, that looked interesting. And I've looked up here before, but I never thought about coming up here. But now that I know there's a trail up here, um, I will definitely probably make this trip again as well. Because I didn't go to the top of the dam. There's fishing here too. I only was stayed at the lower level of the dam. Um, there's fish down in there. That leads out to the other water. I stayed out on the lower level of the dam. Um, maybe next time I come back, I'll actually go up to the top. So it took me actually one battery to get here because it's more of an uphill. So by the time I got eight minutes away, one battery was dead. And then um, I swapped out to the new battery. And I actually stopped at this store, if you will. And it was these two nice ladies and I asked them if I could please charge the battery while I go up to the rest of my destination. She said, sure. So I left it there for basically two and a half hours, I want to say. And I just picked it up and now I'm 
halfway into the trail now, heading back. So basically I put the battery that I charged on, the battery that's got more power in it, I put that back away. Cause I don't wanna run that down really. I wanna make sure that I you know, use that when I need it. So already I'm down one bar on the battery that I just charged up. But uh, it's a quite of a journey that I'm doing here. I'm glad that I'm actually doing a staycation exploration of New York. Um, I don't know what this means, but I do know what it means. Meaning you got to go download some app, I'm sure. And it's an audio tour of the park and it tells you whatever it tells you. It's in the background. But yeah, I want to um, definitely uh, make this trip again. And next time I make the trip, I will bring all of my power cords with me. Because there was a station up there. Um, and the guy was really friendly too, the park ranger, whatever he was. He was really talkative. So I'm quite sure I could ask him, could I charge up somewhere else too. But anyway, there was um, three plugs up there that I could use. So next time I come back, I'll be able to charge the battery, charge the phone, charge the speakers, and sit down for at least two hours, three hours. Um, and maybe I'll explore the top because that was another thing. I didn't get to explore the top. So um, I didn't explore the top because I didn't know how to get to the top. And I passed the way to get to the top when I found out how to get to the top. So next time I come back, I'm going to go straight to the top. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm going uh, to end this video. I am on a beautiful strip. I have never seen this before. That's behind me. Look how beautiful this is. That was like a long trail. The traffic is over there. And this is a bike lane. Beautiful. So I will be back up here. I didn't take this way. I was further in some type of weird way. I don't know where I was at. But this is where I wanted to be. But I'm glad I found it now. And I'm actually taking a different route back. I'm cutting further across town. And it's going to then swing me back in. So this is the longest route that I'm taking. And I figured since I charged that other battery down. That I'm still using now. One bar down. I can use that. And then I'll switch to the other battery. Definitely get me home. So it's actually gonna start raining in a couple of hours as well. Like in three hours, two or three hours. So I'm definitely trying to get home. But I'm taking my time because this is absolutely beautiful out here. I'm gonna flip the camera. I just know it's not gonna work because it never does. When I want to flip it, it doesn't want to flip. this camera to flip. Let me try it one more time. There. I already passed what I was trying to flip it on. But I might come up on something else. You never know. Because I don't know. Oh, they're going to try That's the Metro North. So that's the train that I could take up there as well. Or I could take it back. So I could take that train. Actually, what I was considering doing, but not that line. But take that train. Ooh, look at this. I should have kept going. I didn't know I was gonna come underneath that train when it was passing. Head west. Like I said, I have not come this way earlier. I came the other way. Um. be back though definitely on this route to this beautiful peaceful quiet nature oh i was talking about taking the train all the way up i was thinking of taking the train um like 
90 miles up, 70 to 80 miles up. Look at this, look at this. I should have had the camera flipped. I don't know where that bridge is gonna go to actually though. Oh, it actually goes up to the trail, to the train tracks, across the tracks. I think it does. That goes across the tracks. Where you trying to go? I'm just asking, I ain't going over there. That goes across the tracks? No, it's just, it's just the road that heads back up. Oh, I thought I saw the train. No, no, oh, the train going. up here, okay, my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. You just go down that way. I'm going to explore this again one day. I came yep. further up. Thank you. So that's a road up there. Look at this house up here. Or these houses. They're going to flip the camera up. Two houses up on the hill. they like three level homes. Four level. And that's a road right there. So I will be back. I might take the train up here and then I'll be able to explore more because I'll have full power or I'll ride up to where I was at and then stay there and recharge again and then turn and make this trip back and I'll be able to explore all of this because wow all right I'm gonna end this video again another video I'm gonna end because uh what I'm going to try to do is make a content video of all of these into one. I don't know how to edit, so you might see all this in other videos. Somebody's telling me how. <laughs> um, but yeah. Oh, that is a road. Maybe that road might have another bridge to get back over. And it looked like it is up there. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be back. Well, I hear smoking. <laughs> um, I said I was gonna end it, but it's not a bridge. Wait, is it? It is a bridge. Let me flip the camera. But I don't think that's the bridge that I would take to get over from on the other side. Oh wow, what is all this? Scarsdale. Okay, this is the train station. Scarsdale train station. This is beautiful on the uh, Metro North. to do a photo but i wanted to do a video because the photo just kind of doesn't do it full justice because it's just so much as you walk up on it there's a waterfall in behind that bridge so you walk up this path to cross that bridge but there's a waterfall on the other side but it's just all this beauty as you're getting up to it and that's going to be the picture i guess Look at this. So I think this actually is the way that I did come. But this is the neck of it. The ending point of it. And then I'm going to turn off at a certain point. Different from the way I came. So this is the way that you have to come up here. All right. This is the low bridge that I was talking about earlier. Where you pretty much have to dismount. At least I do, because I'm 6'2", six, 6'1 six, and a half, 6'2". And you also got to be uh, careful. Oh, so sorry, mate. Be fine. Um, yeah. I mean, even if I don't dismount, I got to basically stoop down to the handlebars. And again, be very careful. <laughs> and this is a Rad Rover, so this is a big size fat bike but if you have one of those smaller bikes you might be all right the folding bikes but this is not meant for mopeds and it's actually not even by law supposed to be on these trails thank god speaking of which i had an old lady say to me because she was standing at the foot of the bridge and she didn't want to move and i was blowing the horn 
And then she moved over and she screamed. You're not even supposed to be on one of those anyway in here. So I screamed back as I was passing her. But I am. But I am. <laughs> and I just kept going. But um, those, these rather, can be in here. Basically, when they say no e-bikes, what they mean is those mopeds and even my bike, but don't be going crazy up in here. Use my bike like a regular bike. So basically, keep it in low mode and pay attention and, you know, this not a racetrack. Now, of course, there's opportunities like right now, as you see, where I can hit it. But, you know, that's just like with a regular bike. But bottom line is this is not a racetrack. Don't come in here with your mopeds. Don't come in. That's what it really, really means. Be respectful on an e-bike. Um, so I say that to if anybody ever says to anybody on an e-bike like mine. You're not supposed to be on that in here. You, know, you can respond how you want. But my response is, but I am. <laughs> Legally, the police aren't going to do anything to you because as long as it's class two, has pedals and you're not going nuts on it. If somebody complained, they got to have a valid complaint. Like he was over there popping willies and stealing donuts in the, in the ground and running around children. You know, you got to be going nuts in here. Um, but I'm going to end this video as I'm talking in the background. I normally got music going, so... Thank you. Thank you, man. It's a few crossings. Basically, I gotta get over there. And it's supposed to be the legal way to make an L shape. And wait for the light. Cross at the green, not in between. Wait. 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 I can try to make it because cars are actually more cautious out here in this daytime. Continue for one and a half miles. Right, I'm going to end it now when I cross this bridge. I just wanted to get across that street. So that's all you really got to very few of those crossings um, and stuff like that. And I'm going to end it with this view right here because I wanted to take a picture of this earlier. I thought it was intriguing. It looks like a dam exit. That's where the coyotes and deer and all the animals come through from further up. 